first question I want to ask is, is how did you get into boxing? Um, well, I originally did Thai boxing, so I did that from the age of eight growing up. And then I went over to Thailand, representing Great Britain over there. And then it was when I come back from Thailand, I thought that's kind of as far as I can go in the Thai boxing. And then I transitioned then over to the boxing. Okay, so what was your Thai career like? My Thai career, yeah, it was really, it was really good. I've won um numerous of British Thai boxing championships as a um a junior. Um, I won the Golden Gloves English champion. So I'd won quite a few titles as a junior growing up. Um, and then obviously got selected to represent Great Britain, fought over there. Um, but yeah, I had, I think I had over, at least over a hundred fights anyway. So, but yeah, it was it it was a good career in the side boxing. So. Okay, so then you said that you got into boxing. So what was your amateur career like? I only had one amateur. Um, I was doing unlicensed boxing first because I knew a few people that were on that scene, so I was just doing that on the weekends, and um, just kind of get a little bit of more extra money in, and just I was just kind of using it as sparring, really paid sparring. So I done that, and then I got into I went to Oliver's gym, trained there, and then he said about going amateur, but it was always hard to get a fight. A lot of the girls were pulling out all the time, so. I ended up having one amateur fight, won that in Jersey, and then it was too stressful. Like no, I was having no fights, nothing. Um, so I decided just to turn professional. Okay, so you got an upcoming fight on Saturday against three and oh Therese Art Arthenstall. I don't I don't know if I pronounced that right. On the Lawrence yeah. Foley versus Chris William Smith undercard. So how's yeah. the game for that been? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, obviously, I'm over at a new gym now at Marvin Greaves in Oldham, so the training has been really good, getting fit. Um, obviously, I have been out for a whole year, so my last fight was against Lindsay for the Central Area title, and I won that. And then I had injuries in the fight, and then I ended up breaking my um, foot not long after that, so I was out for a long time letting my foot heal. Um, so then I got back into training. But, yeah, training's gone well. Um, so, yeah, I'm ready to go on Saturday. Because obviously this is, you know, one of them opportunities that you can't really let pass by because this is Sky Sports, stadium fight. So do you think that's playing a factor into nerves for the fight? Um, at the moment, like, I don't feel nervous at all for it. Um, I think because of been around the game for a long time but like you say once I get there and like it's live on TV and there's cameras there I probably will get nervous but even whenever I get nervous I just kind of use that to my advantage um, and just obviously use it within the fight. Okay so if you win that fight where do you think you want to go from there? Um, So obviously when I win the fight I'll just it's I just want to keep busy now so like you say, I was I was supposed to fight on Matchroom show um a few weeks ago, but that kind of fell through um just obviously because I was transitioning from gyms and I hadn't been training with my injury, so I just want to get out busy now and just kind of climb up the rankings again, get back to UK number one, um and then start fighting for the titles again. Really, you said a minute ago there that you made history by becoming the first ever women's Central Area champion. So how did that? I did, yeah. Yeah, I did. Um, I done that last April against Lindsay. Um, so that was a good, a good ten rounds under the belt. Um, so yeah, it was it was good to make history. Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. So obviously, we've just come off this weekend, Katie Taylor versus Chantel Cameron. What did you think? Yeah, about that was a good. It was a good fight. Um, I don't think Katie was a bit. Flat, I'd say at the start, um, the first few rounds, I just don't think, um, she had like a timing or like a feet, just a movement and things like that. Just, well, just wasn't kind of the same. But I know she's kind of getting on. Whereas I know Chantel's at a peak at the moment and she's strong. Um, I sparred Chantel before, so she can hit hard. So I know, like, she just looks, she looked the bigger person in the ring as well. So you could just, you could tell with the like the weight difference. Um, with Katie coming up weight, but it was a good fight. Yeah, one hundred percent. Do you think the Taylor Serrano rematch will still happen, or um, possibly? I don't know because with them saying she wants a rematch now with Chantel, 
Um, I guess we'll have to kind of see which rematch she wants to go with first and then um, see where she goes. So I'm not sure how many fights she's thinking to kind of have and before she um, retires, but I think it's one of them now. She's She just needs to like push for them big fights towards the end of her career and stuff like that now. Yeah, I agree. So back to your career, what do you think your end goal would be for the whole sport of boxing? So for me, I'd, I'd love to fight for world titles. Um, especially I was like with the the kids like I'm getting onto like TV and stuff like that. My my aim is to get to a world title level. Um, I know obviously with the females it can happen quickly, so I just need to get back out, get busy, um, and like I say, just start fighting from the for the titles and getting back up there and get my name out again. Is there any names that you want to fight? Um. To be fair, anybody that's put in front of me, I'll fight. I'm not really, like, too bothered who it is. I just want to get, like you say, whoever crosses my path um, in the weight categories that I'm fighting at, then obviously I'll, if me and my manager and my trainer says that's a great idea, then um, obviously we'll go from there and just fight whoever's put in front of me, really. I'm not really too bothered who I fight as long as I get in there and get busy. Yeah, 100%. So that's all the questions I have for you. So thanks so much for taking this interview. I really do appreciate it. And good luck on oh, Saturday. Oh, no problem. Oh, thank you.